Hello, welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday the 2nd of December. And uh, we're in Advent, of course, so we're here together, watching and waiting, as we are reminded to do in this season. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We have two psalms this morning, 42 and 43. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God. For I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, and from Hermon the land of Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the thunder of your waterfalls. All your breakers and waves have gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime. Through the night his song will be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God my rock, why have you forgotten me? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? As they crush my bones, my enemies mock me, while all day long they say to me, where is now your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance, O my God. Psalm 43. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked. For you are the God of my refuge. Why have you cast me from you? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? O send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go up to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness, and on the lyre I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so quite disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance, my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen.
if you want to follow the Old Testament reading, it's um, Isaiah 28, verses 14 to the end. But we're going to do Matthew 13, verse 1 to 23. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the lake. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky soil where they did not have, on rocky ground where they did not have much soil. And they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil, and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. Then the disciples came and asked him, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to those who have, more will be given, and they, have, they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. The reason I speak to them in parables is that seeing they do not perceive, and hearing they do not listen, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy, prophecy of Isaiah that says, You will indeed listen but never understand, and you will indeed look but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart and turn. And I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Truly I tell you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. This is what was sown on the path. As to what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of, that, of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word and it yields nothing but as for what was sown on good soil this is the one who hears the words and understands it who indeed bears fruit and yields in one case a hundredfold in another 60 and in another 30 this is the word of the lord thanks be to god Now is the time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all thy sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. So we come to our prayers this morning. Bring before the Lord the trouble spots of the world and the potential trouble spots of the world. And Lord Jesus Christ, we do pray that you'll have mercy upon us. We don't want to see an increase in armed conflict. We don't want to see a new imperialism seek to victimise the poor and the vulnerable in the name of power and sovereignty and honour. Remember before you the situation in Ukraine and we pray that that situation will be diffused and that there will be no more hostility and bloodshed. We bring before you the situation in Kashmir where a flare-up could occur at any time. We bring before the Lord the situation in Ethiopia and the war there and the war in Yemen and the potential for a fresh outbreak of war in Libya, the unrest in southern Sudan, the um, terrorist action that's been taking the place across the Sahel region of, of the Sahara, southern Sahara. We live before the Lord all these things and express our deep concern to him about these and other conflicts about which we have heard. Lord, have mercy. Let warring nations understand how futile those actions are and how much damage they do to themselves and to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring before the Lord uh, the situation in Afghanistan where there's a deep fear that there will be a lot of starving people, a vast number of refugees, uh, because of the state of the country as the Taliban uh, take over. Uh, all the essential services and a lot of aid has been removed. We live before the Lord the challenge of dealing with the refugees that are still making their way across many of the borders in the world. We bring before the Lord the standoff between the Poles and the Belarusians. We bring before the Lord the many, re the many economic migrants who are seeking to access the United States and Mexico. Bring before the Lord those who are trying to cross the English Channel, those who are sitting in refugee camps in Greece and Turkey and other European countries. Lord Jesus Christ, we've never faced a situation like this before. Help the nations to work together to find the best solution. Help us to be able to do something about the despair that so many people feel at the situation in their own nations and their inability to move forward in life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring before the Lord his church. We pray for the Lord will greatly lead and guide and bless bishops. Archbishop Justin, Bishop John and Bishop Martin, Archdeacons Robert and Nicky, and our Diocese and Secretary John Preston, Helen Archer Smith and her work in finance, our every Dean Paul Laura. And Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that at this time you'll bless your church in putting the Christ into Christmas. And we pray that this will be a season in which many who have not accessed the church, perhaps for two years or more, will return to church worship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
we bring before the Lord today. That far distant land of the Bromsgrove Tea Ministry. We pray for, our cur for the curate Richard Sandland and his wife Kath as they settle into life in Bromsgrove Parish. We pray that they'll have a very rewarding time there. We bring before the Lord David Ford, Ray Khan, Bev Robertson, Richard Sandland, the clergy, and the readers Hilda Roxborough, Jane Hewell, Jeff Westwood and Rosemary Sumner. We also lift before the Lord today the Diocese of Ifo in Nigeria. Then it's Ifo or Ifo, probably Ifo. Uh, Bishop Nathaniel Oladeju Ogundipe, I beg his pardon. So the Lord Jesus Christ bless Bishop Nathaniel and his church there, uh, all of the uh, different congregations, uh, leaders and laity. Pray that there will be a shining witness and that the Lord will build them up in their faith. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for Bromsgrove. And we pray that it will be a place at which people can find Christ and grow in their faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We have before the Lord today all those sort of sick or suffering or struggling with life at this time. We bring before the Lord those families who have people in hospice care who they're closely related to, those they know and love. We bring before the Lord those who are caring for members of the family at home. We bring before the Lord those who are struggling with life and those who really are dreading Christmas Lord Jesus Christ, shed abroad your light, your love, your comfort. Let your voice be heard in the darkest of places. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which, his son Jesus, which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility. But on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Be to God. So, Lord bless you today. Have a good one and keep warm. Bye for now.